Today is May 11, 2020. My name is Charles Souter, and I'll be presenting the fourth in a series of examination of irrational beliefs. Those are the cause of most emotional distress in people. And this one is called should rules. Just to give you an explanation of what I mean by shoulds, I should be perfect. I should work hard. I should earn a high salary. I should live in a big house in a nice neighborhood. I should drive a new car. I should look and dress nice. I should keep my house clean. My kids should be smart and polite. I should be kind to others. I should avoid conflict. I should be athletic and physically fit. And, the, and of course the list goes on and on. I have two main messages here. If shoulds rule your life and cause excessive emotional distress, you shouldn't let them. For every should is like trying to juggle a ball in the air. There's only so many shoulds you can juggle at any one time. Minimize shoulds and maximize choices. In other words, you may have a lot of shoulds, but many of them may have been put there from your childhood conditioning and they're the product of some other mind, not your own. You're going to need to examine your shoulds and determine which ones to keep and which ones to abandon. Let's get into proposition number one. Too many should rules limits the enjoyment of life. Again, it's like trying to juggle too many balls at once. Trying to satisfy your shoulds can be both mentally and physically exhausting. Just remind yourself, there is no natural law that says you must or should do anything. You get to choose which of your rules, your should rules to keep and which ones to change. Just remind yourself again that should rules are designed to be a means to a desired end. And that end is to live well and enjoy life. Proposition two, you should minimize shoulds, otherwise they limit your choices. Every should limits choices and causes emotional distress, so consider minimizing them. Make sure your shoulds are all freely and consciously chosen. Again, just to remind you, most shoulds come from childhood conditioning by parents and other authority figures, but now that you're an adult, you get to examine your shoulds, eliminate and change those that no longer serve any useful purpose. Now let me get to the rational challenges. When you're feeling emotional distress and you um, your self-talk tells you that there's a should in play challenge these shoulds for example I will no longer be held captive by obsolete shoulds that I've outgrown or you could remind yourself both I and other people should be permitted to have some shoulds in other words you have shoulds for other people for example you, being another person, should be nice, respectful, especially to me, polite and honest, especially to me, and avoid conflict with respect to me. However, remind yourself that other people have shoulds and you have shoulds and sometimes they clash. This is not between you and another person, this is between your shoulds. Remind yourself also that should implies an obligation whereas want-to's implies freely made choices. Finally, everything is as it should be because all necessary conditions are present. So rather than fighting your shoulds, decide which ones to keep, which ones to discard. Ask yourself, is this a conditioned subconscious should? that's driving me my, and my behavior and my feelings or is it a freely conscious chosen should that I place there myself for a good reason final message a should free life is one with fewer limits again every should tends to limit your choices so keep the choices that work for you and eliminate the rest that's all for now Remember to stay positive, you'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.